this episode of Gulf Coastal Connections, we're diving deep into the heart of the Southeastern Conference's legendary arena, the Pete Maravich Assembly Center, affectionately known as the PMAC. Join me as we explore the dynamic journey of LSU's women's basketball, marked by Sue Gunter's extraordinary coaching era and Kim Mulkey's recent triumphs, including the 2023 NCAA National Championship. But our exploration doesn't stop there. We'll delve into the resilient narrative of LSU's men's basketball, from historic victories to Dale Brown's coaching brilliance and Shaquille O'Neal's iconic legacy. The journey extends to LSU's volleyball team, gymnastics program, and the significant role of the Tiger Athletic Foundation in supporting student athletes. And did you know the PMAC has witnessed music legends like Elvis Presley and the Rolling Stones. Yet, beyond the glitz, this arena has weathered storms, both metaphysical and literal, becoming a symbol of hope and resilience during Hurricane Katrina. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Hello, I'm Eddie Parker. And today, I'm on the beautiful Louisiana State University's main campus in Baton Rouge. Opening its doors in 1972, the PMAC has become a hub for LSU sports fans with over 13,000 seats. Originally dubbed the LSU Assembly Center, it underwent a well-deserved name change in 1988, honoring the late basketball icon and LSU All-Star, Pistol Pete Maravich. Maravich's legacy is nothing short of awe-inspiring, having set the all-time NCAA Division I scoring record with an astounding 3,667 points and an average of 44.2 points per game. During his tenure with the LSU men's basketball team in the late 1960s and early 1970s, LSU men's basketball has a rich history dating back to its inaugural season in 1908. The team's first triumph came with a decisive 38-20 victory on the road against Dixon Academy, setting the stage for an illustrious journey. In their historic home debut, LSU secured an 18-12 win over Mississippi State, marking the beginning of a legacy. Fast forward to the 1934-1935 season under the guidance of coach Harry Robinhorst and fueled by the remarkable performance of the first LSU All-American, Sparky Wade. The team finished the season at an impressive 14-1, claiming victory in the American Legion Bowl with a thrilling 41-37 win against a formidable Pittsburgh Panthers squad that shared the Eastern Intercollegiate Conference Championship. This pivotal moment solidified LSU's presence in collegiate basketball history. Dale Brown's influential tenure as the head coach of LSU basketball spanned an impressive 25 years, from 1972 to 1997. In this remarkable era, Brown steered the team to extraordinary heights, clinching two Final Four appearances, four Elite Eights, and an impressive five Sweet Sixteens. His coaching skills shone through with an astounding 13 NCAA tournament appearances, showcasing consistent excellence. Notably, Brown guided the Tigers to four regular season SEC championships and secured one SEC tournament championship, adding a glittering array of titles to LSU's basketball legacy under his leadership. Dale Brown's impact on LSU basketball remains an enduring testament to his coaching brilliance and the team's enduring success during his remarkable era. An NBA Hall of Famer who played his collegiate career here in the PMAC under the leadership of Coach Dale Brown was none other than Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq's basketball journey from Cole High School in San Antonio, Texas to Louisiana State University is a fascinating tale rooted in international connections. Before attending LSU, O'Neill's path intersected with Coach Dale Brown in Europe, where his stepfather was stationed in West Germany. 
At LSU, O'Neill's skill on the court earned him prestigious accolades such as two-time All-American, two-time SEC Player of the Year, and the coveted Adol Rupp Trophy for NCAA Men's Basketball Player of the Year in 1991. Despite leaving LSU early to pursue his NBA career, O'Neill's commitment to education remained unwavering. His remarkable legacy lives on through honors like induction into the LSU Hall of Fame and a striking 900-pound bronze statue proudly displayed here in front of the LSU basketball practice facility. Matt McMahon, the current head coach for LSU's men's college basketball team, boasts an impressive coaching journey. Previously at Murray State, McMahon left an indelible mark by guiding his team to a stellar 26-6 record, clinching both the Ohio Valley Conference regular season and a tournament championship in his third year. His expertise and success did not go unnoticed, as on March 21, 2022, McMahon accepted the role as head coach at Louisiana State University, committing to a substantial seven-year deal. Known for bringing much-needed stability to LSU, Coach McMahon is in the midst of a transformative second year, rebuilding the program from the ground up. His tenure as coach promises exciting developments for LSU men's basketball. The dynamic LSU cheerleading squad, comprising both male and female members, brings boundless energy to LSU football, men's, and women's basketball games. Their spirited performances not only elevate the crowd's enthusiasm with a plethora of cheers during gameplay and breaks, but also include iconic traditions. Before home football games, the LSU cheerleaders once rode atop the mobile unit of Mike the Tiger leading cheers like the famed Go Tigers and guiding the football team onto the field. Positioned on both sidelines for football and along the baseline for basketball, they are a vibrant presence. Beyond the sideline, LSU cheerleaders showcase their powers by competing in prestigious competitions sanctioned by the Universal Cheerleader Association, with the 1989 squad clinching the esteemed UCA National Championship. The Bingo Brass Basketball Band, comprised of 60 talented members, is a vibrant musical ensemble associated with LSU. Simply known as the Bingo Brass, this all-brass group, accompanied by a percussionist on a trap set, is divided into purple and gold squads. They bring the energy to LSU's select home volleyball matches, numerous gymnastic meets, and all home men's and women's basketball games at the iconic Pete Maravich Assembly Center. Beyond home games, Bingo Brass accompanies the basketball teams during their thrilling postseason play adding a dynamic musical element to the excitement of the game.
The LSU Tigers volleyball team, initially known as the Lady Tigers, embarked on their journey in 1974, setting the stage for a rich history. In 1985, Scott Luster assumed the role of head volleyball coach, making an enduring impact over his 13-year tenure. Under Luster's guidance, the team flourished, achieving two Final Four, numerous NCAA tournament appearances, and clinching both SEC regular season and tournament championships. In 1997, Fran Fleury took the coaching reins, steering the Tigers to sustaining success with six NCAA tournament appearances and the 2009 SEC regular season championship. Notably, Fleury holds the title of the all-time SEC win leader. Her retirement in 2021 marked the end of an era, leaving an indelible mark on the program's storied history. Established in 1970, LSU's gymnastic program has evolved into a powerhouse of achievement. The team marked their inaugural Super 6 appearance in 2008, followed by notable returns in 2009, 2013, and 2014. The 2016 and 2017 seasons witnessed the program reaching the Super 6 and securing second place at the NCAA Women's Gymnastic Championships. In 2017 and 2018, LSU clinched consecutive SEC regular season and SEC championship meet titles, showcasing their dominance. The momentum continued in 2019 with a triumphant SEC championship meet win in New Orleans, leading the team to the historic four on the floor in the NCAA Women's Gymnastic Championship, ultimately finishing second overall for the third time in school history. The inception of LSU women's basketball team, known as the Bean Gals, marked a significant moment in 1975 under the guidance of coach Jinx Coleman. Remarkably, in only their second season, the team demonstrated exceptional prowess by reaching the national championship game. Despite facing the formidable top-ranked Delta State, the Bengals showcased their determination and skill on the court. Although they fell short with a final score of 68-55, to their journey to the championship game highlighted the team's rapid ascent and set the stage for a legacy of competitiveness in the years to come. These early chapters of the LSU women's basketball saga revealed a promising start and the resiliency that would become synonymous with the team's identity. Sue Gunter, the esteemed college basketball coach, left an indelible mark on the sport, particularly during her influential tenure leading the Louisiana State University's women's basketball team. Inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 2000, Gunter's 22-year journey at LSU was marked by extraordinary achievements, including 14 NCAA tournaments, two WNITs, and notable Final Four and Elite Eight appearances. Her leadership guided the Lady Tigers to a WNIT championship in 1985 and SEC tournament championships in 1991 and 2003. Gunter, holding the title of the winningest coach in LSU history with a 442-221 to record, concluded her illustrious career as the third winningest women's basketball coach in NCAA history, boasting an impressive overall record of 708 wins to 308 losses. Her enduring legacy continues to inspire the world of women's college basketball. Kim Mulkey stands as a trailblazing icon in American college basketball, making an indelible impact both on and off the court. As the head coach for Louisiana State University's women's basketball team, she continues to command respect. Mulkey's journey is one of historic triumphs with Pan American gold in 1983 and Olympic gold in 1984 
Her significance in NCAA women's basketball history is unparalleled, achieving a national championship as a player, assistant coach, and head coach. Notably, she secured NCAA championships with Baylor in 2005, 2012, and 2019 before taking on a new challenge at LSU. In an impressive feat, Mulkey led LSU to victory in the NCAA National Championship in 2023. Her outstanding contributions were duly recognized, with inductions into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame in 2000 and the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in 2020, solidifying her legacy in the world of basketball. PMAC is home to the headquarters of the Tiger Athletic Foundation. Since 1987, TAF members have been making a meaningful impact on the lives of LSU student athletes. Their mission is clear to assist Louisiana State University in cultivating and sustaining an exceptional athletic program. By offering private financial support for programs and facilities, TAF ensures that LSU student athletes have the opportunity to succeed, not just in competition, but also in the classroom and in life. Join the TAF team and be part of this impactful journey. Find more information in the descriptions below. The PMAC isn't just a sports haven, it's a stage that has witnessed musical legends like Elvis Presley, Jimmy Buffett, the Rolling Stones, and Led Zeppelin, leaving an indelible mark on the memories of their fans. Yet, behind the glitz and glamour, the arena has weathered its share of trials. In 1977, tragedy struck when Leonard Skinner was involved in a fatal plane crash on their way to play an LSU homecoming concert at the PMAC, claiming the life of Southern Rock vocalist Ronnie Van Zant and others. However, the most remarkable chapter in this arena's history unfolded in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina. Transforming into a symbol of hope and resilience, the PMAC became the largest triage center and acute care field hospital in U.S. history. With an 800-bed facility, it was staffed by everyday heroes, including thousands of LSU students who had themselves faced the devastating impact of the storm. This incredible transformation stands as a testament to the strength and unity that defines this remarkable institution. As we bask in the echoes of victorious cheers and soul-stirring melodies within the hallowed halls of the Pete Maravich Assembly Center, it becomes a living testament to the unwavering spirit of LSU. If you bleed purple and gold and would like more LSU content, please watch my episodes, Tiger Stadium, The Real Death Valley, and Who is Mike the Tiger? I'll leave a link in the description. If you found this episode as captivating as I did, consider joining our community by subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with fellow enthusiasts. Your support allows us to continue uncovering the extraordinary stories that define our unique region. As we wrap up this exploration, I want to express my gratitude for your time and engagement. And until our next adventure together, stay connected, keep exploring, and embrace the exceptional narratives that shape the tapestry of our Gulf Coastal home. I'm Eddie Parker, and I generally hope to see you soon on the next episode of Gulf Coastal Connections.